Hey everybody, it's Dustin again with the WebEx Devices team. And on this episode of the WebEx Edge, we've got a little treat for you. We're gonna show you kind of a sneak peek of uh, uh, something new that we've got coming out um, that everybody will be able to start testing soon. We hope to be released uh, sometime towards the end of July. Uh, but kind of wanted to show you a little bit about how it's gonna work. So uh, one of the things that we've talked about that's gonna be coming out is the ability to join Microsoft Teams meetings. Um, and there's two ways mainly to be able to join those. You can um, join those, well, I guess three ways. So with a Microsoft Teams client, um, you can join via the Microsoft WebRTC client, or you can join a Microsoft Teams meeting using their Cloud Video Interop, or CVI for short. Now, there's a couple CVI providers out there today. Cisco is working. We're going to be a CVI provider in the near future. We'll do some demos showing you how that's going to work as well soon. But today, I want to focus on WebRTC. So what happens if your tenant doesn't have the Cloud Video Interop, or a tenant you're wanting to join does not have it, but you have a world-class video telepresence device from Cisco? Well, we're going to solve that problem for you and show you a really neat way that you can join in to that meeting just using your modern Cisco WebEx device. Now, what I'm going to show you here is a demo where I'm going to schedule a meeting inside of Microsoft Teams. I'm going to do the typical workflow that we would do for any other one button to push and invite the system that I have. In this case, we're going to invite this 85 inch board I have behind me. I've intentionally got it kind of in monochrome here to provide a little bit of allure and uh, secrecy. Um, it's not going to hide everything too much. You're going to see some things, but We've got another camera view I'll show you so you can actually see us working on the device. But we're gonna invite it just like we would any other meeting, one button to push. Um, and you're gonna see how we're gonna be able to leverage the web engine on our modern devices. So the WebEx Room Systems, the new Desk Pro, uh, or in this case, we're showing you on a WebEx board. And with simply by scheduling the meeting, being able to do a one button to push and have it dial right on in using the web engine and joining via WebRTC. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to switch my camera view here, and you'll see that I've already got Microsoft Teams up. I've got the uh, calendar view up here. Now, you can do this inside of Outlook. There's other ways to be able to schedule these meetings, but for sake of this demo, I just went ahead and I wanted to use Microsoft Teams, and I've got my calendar here. I'm going to go ahead and pop up uh, a meeting invitation invite uh, menu here, and I'm just going to say MS Teams Demo, and just like I would with any other one button to push, I'm going to go ahead and invite my WebEx board 85 behind me here, got my time set up. Now I can add other things, I can add other people, just like any other calendar invite. The big key here is, is that for me to get the one button to push, one button join, I invite the system that uh, I want to be able to join into this meeting. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit send. Now, in just a few seconds, what's happening here on the back end is the, um, uh, the calendar system is actually inviting that. The calendar for that room system is going to accept that invite our hybrid calendar service is going to realize that it's invited. And as you can kind of already tell, there's a one button to push uh, on the device behind me. So let me go ahead and switch over my view here so you can actually see that this here is the WebEx board. And you'll see that you have the big green join button there. Now, this is uh, again, a WebEx board, so it's interactive. You're gonna have that there on the display, but what happens if I have a room system or something that I cannot interact with? So I'm actually gonna change my camera view here, zoom into my WebEx room navigator, um, this is a, a new product we've got coming out, but uh, this would also work just fine on a Touch 10. So this is a little sneak peek of the new Navigator. But as you see here, you do have the one button to push as well. Um, and you can tell that it's a WebRTC demo by the Microsoft Teams logo um, and sees that it's organized by me it's between 3.30 and 4. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the one button to push and hit join. I will make a side note, say that you will be able to use WebEx Assistant to be able to do this as well. And we're going to switch our view back up here to the board. Sorry for the camera angles there. And this is the board actually going through the process of joining. So it's launching WebView, um, going straight into Microsoft Teams. Now, while this is going in, one thing you're going to find out is, is that with WebRTC, it's connecting. But what it's doing here is, is it's going to alert people that are in the meeting that a guest is wanting to join. So it's basically telling me that uh, when the meeting starts, we'll let people know. So I'm sitting here kind of in a lobby. Uh, waiting to go. So I'm going to go back here to my client and I'm going to go here and I'm going to hit join. And you're going to see yet another view of me. Hello world. And uh, as you can see here, I've got my video on. I'm going to go ahead and mute myself so we don't see that. And I'm going to go ahead and say join now. Now when I do, I'm actually starting this meeting and I'm the only one in here. But one of the first things you're going to see here is that the WebEx Edge board is waiting in the lobby. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to the view here of the board again. 
And while I do that, I'm now gonna come over here and actually hit the admit button. And once I do that, you should see that the board is going to take us right on in. And then there you see me back on the web view and I am actually in this meeting. So as simple as that, I'm gonna go ahead and cancel this now. Just like that, that's how you will be able to join a Microsoft Teams meeting using one button to push. There it is, it's the only one in the meeting behind me there. I hope that you enjoyed that. There's gonna be some more videos coming. If you have any questions or likes, just like, comment below. Let me know if you have anything else that we can help you with and look forward to um, seeing you guys test this out and using this uh, in your uh, workplace. Thanks, have a great day.